What's up everybody? Hope you're doing super well. If you're new here, my name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I want to talk a little bit about running. Specifically, my relationship with running along my journey of self-improvement and also what I hope to achieve in the future. Let's get started. All right, so I wanted to make this video about running because this morning I woke up and I had a run schedule to get ready to go. And I'm halfway through my workout and I decided to cross out my run and I said, I'm not gonna do it. It's too hot outside. It's like 30 degrees Celsius outside. And um, I just, I just not feeling it. I'm not gonna go for the run. But as I was finishing my workout, I was like, con like I was in my own head and I was saying to myself like, you skipped the, your run yesterday and you haven't ran for like four or five days and you really should get out there and get at least a small run in. So I was able to motivate myself and I got out there and I ran for eight minutes and nine seconds and it was a 1.77 kilometers. And most people would say like, oh, it's like such a small run, like, like why even bother or like, oh, you could have done longer than that. But for me, it was like a super successful run. I was able to really focus on my, on my form and my pace and I was able to hit a pace that I've been inspiring, aspiring to do for a long time and I was able to do it with really good form so it was, a, it was a huge success in my book so I was kind of inspired to make this video talking about it because running is one of the things that is most difficult for me on my journey of self-improvement. It's just something that's really hard to motivate myself to do. And I think it's because it's just like such an uncomfortable thing and it's not really an activity that I do enjoy, like I enjoy the things that result from it, but the actual activity is just kind of like so just like uh, uncomfortable for me. But I think from that discomfort, I get a lot of growth and I get so much other benefits in the other aspects of my life, uh, specifically like my cognitive function and like my mental health is just way better when I'm consistently running. I also wanted to share my, my short run because I think it's so easy to, to see other people that run or see experienced runners and people running like half marathons and marathons and running for like hours at a time and it could just seem so unattainable especially if you were someone like me who hadn't run for like years and, uh, and you go out and you try to run around the block and you're out of breath right so um, it's important to remember that everyone's on their own journey and um, when you're starting out and when you're trying to become like a runner it's you're gonna have these short runs right and focusing on things um, like your form and your pace and running in a way that's comfortable for your body and avoiding injury those are those are really important and it's not always just about distance or, or time spent running so yeah me personally right now I'm recovering from a knee injury that I had uh, quite a long time ago when I tweaked my knee when I was running and um, I've been running the past couple months and I kind of aggravated that knee again and that kind of forced me to look a little bit deeper into my form into how I was running and um, how and kind of fix my form so that I could run in such a way where my knee doesn't hurt afterwards and that was luckily the case today well not luckily but like I was able to run today and not have knee pain afterwards so for me that's that short run was a success and um, yeah I just wanted to share some short uh, thoughts on running here I'm on my journey to 10k so I want to be able to run a 10 kilometer distance all at once by the end of 2021 and I want to be able to do that in a sustainable way. Like I could go, I could, I could have ran 10K today, but I would be like dead afterwards. So I want to be able to run it and feel good afterwards and run in the, in the following days. So yeah, that's my, uh, that's my 10K goal. And then my ultimate goal for running as, as part of my journey of self-improvement is to become a runner and run like every single day. And I think I'm aiming for around like 25, 30 minute runs every single day because my life is just so much better when I'm constantly running. And it just, it, the cognitive benefits that I get from it and the physical benefits as well are just unmatched to anything else. So, so yeah, just keep it short today, a short video on running. I did want to shout out uh, some other, another YouTuber that I watch. His name is Dennis and he's also a small YouTuber. So check out his channel, but he's just an inspiration for me because he's, uh, he's, I think he's only like 17 or maybe 16, 17, 18 years old. Um, but yeah, him and his girlfriend are like insane at running. Like they'll just go for like, eight mile runs and like and uh so yeah they're a pretty big inspiration for me but uh, yeah i just want to give them a shout out and that's about it so let me know down in the comments below what your relationship with running is like 
Uh, maybe uh, you want to aspire to be a runner. Maybe you were a runner. Um, just any running stories you might have, I'd love to hear them. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I make videos every week about self-improvement. Thanks so much and have a great day. Peace. Thank you.